In the present video, I'm going to tell you how to find, download, and activate Maxima in a Windows computer. Now, we've been talking about SMAX Studio, and you may wonder, what is Maxima? Well, Maxima is a free software that does symbolic mathematics. I have installed here in my computer, and it's, it's very useful. It's um, not easy to use in, in a sense, but it has a lot of uh, links in here in their menus that will help you calculate a lot of uh, mathematics with it. And it's useful when you're using SMAS Studio. And there's a way to link the two programs, and that's why I want you to download Maxima. So let me go through the steps of downloading Maxima for you. The easiest way to find Maxima is to type Maxima Algebra in Google. Don't type Maxima alone because that's going to take you to some um, model of Nissan cars. So let's go to Maxima Algebra and press Enter. And it says, well, Maxima, a computer algebra system. Click on it. And here what we want to do, there's a lot of information here if you want to explore on your own, but all we want to do here is go to Downloads up here. Click on Downloads. Since I'm working with Maxima here, I'm going to have to go with this link that says Installation of, of Maxima in Windows. And in here, we're going to go with, to the current version, which is this one that I have highlighted, and we're going to click on it. Then you get to this page, and you want to click on this green button, and wait until it, it gives you the information required for download. It won't be that long. That's it. And you just say save file. That's all you need to do. You don't need to download anything else in this website, just download your Maxima installation. It takes a little bit to download. We're going to pause here. And so that's the end. Now it's downloaded. And it should be available in your Downloads folder. There it is. Maxima Philips SBSL 544.0 Win64.exe This is your installation file, what you have to do is just double click on it. So it's about to end up the, the loading. And then you go to this uh, window, press next. You have to agree to the the conditions. Uh, interestingly enough, Maxima tends to store itself under the C under the C uh, um, location instead of going to the uh, program files. That is okay. It's been working for me all the time. So press next, press next again, and press install right here. Now it's going to be copying a bunch of files here, so it's going to take a little bit. I'm going to pause, complete it, and then just press finish. Now to find and activate Maxima, what you want to do is go to <coughs> your start button in Windows under the M, find a folder that says Maxima 5.44.0. And under it, you want to open a uh, icon that's called WX Maxima, GUI for Maxima. And that is the installation. As I mentioned, we're going to be giving you a little bit more information regarding the, the use of Maxima with SMA Studio. One particular um, activi uh, action that you need to take when you go to SMA Studio is um, I'm going to go to, uh, I got it in Spanish, let me change that to English. We go to Tools, Plugins, and we'll look for Maxima Plugin.
I was looking in the local store. It should be on the online gallery. Sorry about that. And we're going to look for Maxima. There it was. Maxima plugin. And that, that way we can connect the two software. Say install. And then we're going to have access to some functions in Maxima. We're going to present those in more detail later on. I just wanted to leave it at this point so you get the two are connected. And that way we finish this particular.